Hi guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Stephanie. And I'm Rachel. And this is Thrift Sip Repeat. Well, as you guessed it, we're going to be talking all about our thrifting and our wine. Because we all know you love a good find and, and some, some good wine. wine. So on today's episode, we are drinking David Akiyoshi Vinology. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. But we're going to go into more detail about that later. Good. Um, we love thrifting, but yes. what we love even more is bin thrifting. Yes, yeah, Stephanie and I had this wonderful opportunity to go to the bins. And it's tons of tables with tons of clothes piled up. And what you have to do is you have to dig in to find the gems. Exciting. So we're going to actually show you what we found on our last trip. And how much it costs to get a bag full a bag items. full of this. Yes. It's a lot of clothes. It's a lot of clothes. Yeah. So we got our bags. Um, both bags probably equaled about twenty two dollars. I think mine was about twenty five. Yeah, so around twenty dollars will get you a, a, a big, whole bag. big big bag. Yeah. Bag. Yeah. We're pretty excited. There we go. There we go. How exciting! Okay, let's talk about it. So let's see, the first piece I'm going to show um, is an anthropology shirt. Ooh, um, that, that yeah, looks this, nice. this is a really good find. That um, is. Yeah, it's a brand that anthropology sells. Mm -hmm. um, the color, the pattern's really nice. Yes. It has um, little pleats here on the side. Yeah. Pleats. Yeah, those are nice. Um, this shirt probably retails for about $60. Um, wow. And it's prob probably. 25, well, 25 cents it costs, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, you want to try finding the most lightweight items, items. because it's the most bang for your buck. Exactly, yeah. very good. Okay, let's go on to my first piece. Um, this is a nice white tunic. Um, it is by Chico's, and I think it's a size 3, so it is a little bit roomy. But um, I think what I like about this stuff is the texture. It has such a nice texture on it, so you can either dress it down or dress it up, wear it with jeans, wear it with a skirt, but um, just a nice, clean piece. And um, what we'll also be talking about as we're going through our items is the importance of like kind of checking the items, right? Yeah, because this is white, and it's very hard to find clean white item in yes. the bins, because the bins sometimes can be lots of interesting things in there. That's right. But yeah, this is a really good find, because there's you. no stains at, at all on this. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so that. my next piece is going to be these Levi's. Woohoo! And we know Levi's, they cost anywhere between $60 to $100. Wow. Um, and these are in perfect condition. Oh my goodness. Um, there's some distressing in the knees. Nice. Um, but other than, I mean, that's part nowhere. You want to look too. also like in the crotch area because that's where it kind of tends yes, to wear the most. Um, but these are boyfriend cut, um, so they're really... They're just very comfortable. Another so. thing I noticed, Stephanie, about that is the label. Look yeah, how the thin. label is yes. like in pristine you can see that. condition. No wear and tear on all on that yeah. label. So, so that's a good thing. And even the bottoms, like there's no wear at the bottom. So yes. these that's are really good. I like that. Okay. Um, next up will be um, let's do this stuff. This is a Banana Republic, um, size large. Kind of like a tank blouse, or as I think you said, like kind of like a uh, camisole. Yeah. Like a camisole. Um, I think I liked it because number one, the color, but also it has a nice lining underneath, so it's not a sheer. So it's kind of um, I don't want to say heavy, but a little bit more stamp substantial than just the camisole, um, a sheer camisole. But I love it. And it's Banana Republic, and like Stephanie and I were talking about, you know, sometimes looking at the label, you get um, if you know your labels, you can get a better quality. And so Banana Republic is one of those items or Nate, um, designers that I, I feel like we can never go wrong with Banana yeah. Republic. It's, it's just a, style. it's constant in style and just the quality. So I really like that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, my next piece, now I originally did not know what brand this was, um, oh. but it was 100% silk, so you can't really pass up. 100% silk. That's exactly um, right. I think you had second thoughts about this I did too. have second thoughts just because the print is really not my style. Um, but when I got home and looked it up, it's just a button down. Yep. Um, really nice. But the brand is called Equipment. And when I looked it up, it retails for, you won't even believe this. What? $298. 
um, oh my that like goodness. celebrities wear. Oh my so goodness. I was like, I, I couldn't believe, and this thing probably cost like 25 cents. That's so, so unbelievable. light. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you might not realize it, but like you can find really right. pricey things yes. there. But yeah, yes. this, this was like that's really interesting. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. I'm so glad you got that. Um, the next piece that I found was like a, um, kind of like a vintage to me, like kind of like 90, 80s, 90s almost, but the dolman sleeves. Um, it's a v-neck, double v-neck, so the front and back. It's by a maker, Chelsea. Um, it just, it's very nostalgic for me. It's kind of like a heather gray um, striped blouse, but with the waist and it's kind of um, ribbed, where it fits kind of yeah. a little bit more yeah, slender. Yeah, like some stretch. Yeah, a little bit of stretch. So I, I, I like this piece. I thought it was really nice, and it's very light. Which yeah. is, it's kind of light. It, I mean, it is lightweight, yeah. You know, so I like it. Yeah. And talking about vintage. Yes. Um, I found this vintage uh, piece. If I could find it. Yeah. Oh, here it is. There you go. Um, oh my goodness, this one. Was... I, 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 it was almost like love at first sight. Yes. But I remember that. Yeah, I, like... and it's very, it's different. Yes. It is definitely vintage. It's uh, Kathy Daniels, which is probably a vintage name. Yeah. But it is a um, button down, but it's only like a uh, half button, which I yeah. love. I don't like, yeah. like all the way down because like, it's like a, yeah, cardigan type like style. Mm -hmm. But like the buttons are like that gold. And it has that plaid, the yes. blues, the blacks, the greens. Kind of reminds me um, of the Scottish kind of. Yeah, like it plaid. is. Yeah, you it's know, really the good. Or Starless. Um, it has like the um, stretched yep. uh, um, arms yep, and, the waist. and the waist. Yeah, the waist. But I love this, and this can pair with yes. with anything. Yes. But yeah, I, right. this is that was probably one. one of my favorite yeah. pieces. I remember your face when you found yeah. that. Too. <laughs> you really enjoyed that. Um, next piece. Um, Kind of reminds me, and we talked about this one. Um, it kind of reminds me of a vintage piece because of the, the neck and the embroidered um, yoke. Um, kind of like that crepe material. Yeah. Um, it does have the elastic wrist brands, but it's um, by a maker, I think it's Who, What, Where. It's extra large, but I just like the way it's roomy. Yeah. And the way they're pairing, or the way they're um, pairing the roomy tops with the pants is, it's okay for it to be big yeah. and loose. And then just what you do is just tick it like kind of in the front. Yeah. I've seen that a lot, and I've actually started doing that myself. And I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, my when grandma, something's oversized. Right, right when something's yeah. oversized. Of course, my grandma wouldn't like it because grandma wants everything tucked in, nothing hanging out. But that's okay. I like it. I like the way it looks. So just a nice, nice blouse could be yeah. casual or. Yeah, it, yeah, you could dress it yeah, up with yeah. some nice dress pants and yeah. heels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, I'm gonna take a sip of my wine. Let's both take a sip of our wine because you know it's drip, yes. sip, and repeat. And repeat. So let's see. Mm. That is so good. Oh, that is good. Taste That's the flavor. Good. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Take a sip. Gotta take a sip. <laughs> So uh, now that we have our refill, yes. Um, my next piece, and you actually found this. I for me, did, I did. Because um, she knows it's my style. Um, it's Talbots, which I love. I, I just feel like it fits me classic, really good. Just classic. Um, but this is, I just love it. It's just a blue and white pinstripe. Um, it's not linen, um, but it's so just it's a blend, maybe. Yeah, it might be a blend, um, but it's just really soft. Yeah, um, very well made. Let me made. see what it is. Very well made. Oh, it actually is linen. It is 100%. It's linen, but okay. it, it feels softer. Yeah. Yeah, I really love it. Um, I do too. I this like could it. go good with white pants. Yes. Even um, jeans. Yeah, jeans. Some like, uh, yeah. you know, some, some heels. Yeah. yeah, I really like this I piece. Like that. And Very I think it would go great also with, um, like oh. you said, some jeans. And these are another Levi jeans. Wow. Um, these are these are wow. pristine condition. I yeah. mean, when I say there's not not one wear at Good the bottom. Job, Steph. And these are um, boot cut, which mm -hmm. I know some people don't really like skinny uh, jeans right. because, you know, their body just doesn't yeah, does like it. it. They have yeah. more curves, yeah, you know, right. like us. Right, exactly. Um, so yeah, these these fit really good, um, and like I, I like said, them. they're boot cut, perfect condition, mm -hmm. um, just classic. Another yeah. hundred dollar pair of jeans for cool. what a dollar, two dollars, a dollar. Yeah, and right. that looks like you said that would look really yeah, good. Yeah, it, it would look really good. Very that yeah, top, yeah, top. very good. Okay, well, since you did a combo, I'm gonna do my little combo. So um, I did find a pair of army green um, Liz Claiborne pants. I do think they might be from like maybe like the 90s. They're a little cropped. Um, but excellent condition, very good material, kind of like a thick 
cotton material, belt loops, um, but really good. And yeah, I, I, love um, the color. I, I do like the colors. And like I said, it's like that little, it has that little cuff yeah. at the bottom. But I thought that this would be really nice if we paired it up with this other item that I found, which is this army green button up shirt with the tag. The I mean, that's another thing you want to look for is things with ta tags. I mean, <laughs> nobody's ever worn it before. And this thing was $44. Exactly. Yeah. And how much do you think that cost? That oh, not, probably 25 cents. Probably 25 cents? Yeah. yeah. But that, you know, it has that really um, contemporary, or there's another word I'm thinking of, but um, a nice print that... Um, it has some detail. Yes, the little beading, yeah, the gold beading. Yeah, the pocket. So I thought that would look kind of nice together, like, you know, yeah, maybe with a little like something that. underneath. And it is sheer, so... Yeah. And next up, um, I know we have a ton of clothes. Right. Um, I mean, when I say a ton, a ton of, of clothes, clothes like, we're talking about a ton of clothes. You know, yeah. tons of clothes. Yes. But we're just going to show you, like, the... Gems. The gems, yeah. Um, and I'm going to show you two accessories. She's that, showing off now, just so you know. This hat <laughs> is a vintage Bowman hat, which made in La Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 100% wool. I mean, these things are like $200. And like I said, I found it in the bins, goodness. probably like a dollar. Oh my goodness. And so I when mean, you saw it, did you immediately feel immediately like love Immediately, I just first? gravitated toward it. I mean, it goes good with a trench coat with jeans. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's just it's just classic. You could wear it with anything. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. And I love the suede, like the little belt yeah, around the top like of this. Yeah, there's a little detail. Yeah, that's nice. Um, but the other thing I found. Watch we talk, out. Can we talk Watch about, out. Let's can we talk about this first. <laughs> I mean, Dooney and Burke black leather purse. Oh my I mean, goodness. perfect condition. Um, these thing, this thing probably was like three hundred dollars. I mean, so, man. the metal that. feet at the bottom to look protect it. You, you just and that leather so soft. Yeah. You can't, you can't. And look find at the it. handles. There is no, no. So this is what I like about vintage leather, good quality. Most of the leather and the items or the bags that we buy, the threading comes out. Yeah. Like a lot of threading, yeah. a lot of shredding. This has, it's intact. Yeah. It is intact. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Good so job. What, what accessories did you find? Well, now that you asked, um, I did find, again, a retro bag. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I don't even know, I, I want to say it was back in the, like, maybe 80s, 90s, maybe late 80s, 90s, where um, sill bags, 100% sill bags were in, the end thing. I found this. And as soon as I, I mean, as soon as it came out on the bin, remember we were waiting by the bins? Yeah. And um, everyone was there waiting, you know. Yeah. And I saw this bag, and I didn't hesitate whatsoever to put it in my little bin. And um, good condition. Um, like I said, 100% seal. It has the little, what do they call these, purse feet? Oh, yeah, like the legs. The legs, yeah. Yeah, on the bottom. Um, good condition. Yeah, really um, soft. Yeah. So I love that little um, clutch there. Not a clutch. Mm. I gotta get my terms right next time, but that's all right. Yeah, it's you a got nice you got handbag. me. Nice handbag with the handles. Yeah, satchel. I think they call yeah. these satchels. So, along with that, I'm gonna give credits here to Miss Stephanie. She found this beautiful scarf, Vince. Vince Camuto. Best Vince yeah. Camuto. And I thought what we could do, Steph, is take this scarf and just kind of like tie it around. And yeah. have it like on the on the um, yeah because you see it has that it has that, that camel yeah. color gold yeah. Yeah. yeah so I thought if we did that yeah. then you just have your little purse there and you're carrying it I thought yeah. that was nice That's I mean really you could nice. use a smaller scarf but whatever folks I mean you want to be big you go big yeah. you want to go small you go small yeah. so yeah so those were some of the finds um, that we uh, found in the bins and uh, I think it was it was, it was really good. good it was yeah. good can't wait till next time okay so now that we showed you all of our Nice finds, gems. all the gems. We're gonna uh, go over the wine because you know this is not a thrift haul without some wine. wine. To sip and, right. and repeat and repeat. <laughs> yes, very good. Mm, so, like I said before, this is a David um, Akiyoshi Vinology 2017 Cabernet Sauvignon. Very good. And um, when we looked at the description, it said um, brambleberry. Notes. Yes. Um, and it's not a heavy wine, it's but not. it's not that light either. It's mm -hmm. kind of like an in between. Yeah. Um, Full of flavor. Yeah, fruit. A lot of fruit, fruit flavor, but um, not sweet. Because mm -hmm. we don't like the over sweet right. um, stuff. But for a cab, I thought when I first tasted it, I even said to you, Steph, that I thought it was going to be a little bit more drier because of the cab. But yeah. um, for some reason, the fruit, the fruit and that flavor just meshes and it's just really good to the palate. It's Very really good. good. I, I like it. It's a good drinking wine. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I overall I like it. Um, mm -hmm. and this bottle, it retails for about eighteen ninety nine, which. You know, it's is in the middle range. We tend to go toward yes. more budget friendly we, just because you know, yeah, yeah, it's a thrifting haul. We right. like to save we like some money, to budget and save money. Yeah. So why would we be going out and buying twenty five dollar bottles of wine all yeah. the time? I don't know. <laughs> but since it's our first video, we wanted to kind of splurge a little. Yes, but make it special. Right? Yeah, eighteen ninety nine. That's not. It's, not, it's, not, it's a not a bad deal bad. at all. And it's so, a good wine. Yeah, and Very it's the wine. transformative art of winemaking. Um, but yeah, Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. It's really good. It I like good. it. It's yeah. good. Would you buy it again? I I would. I would buy it again. Yeah. yeah I would definitely buy yeah. it again. Yeah. I wonder if we taste the wine and if it's not good, will we have enough courage to say not to buy it again? I, yeah. I think I would too. Because this is also a wine review. That's it. So um, yeah. we're yeah. going to be honest. We're going to be honest. That's all. But I like it. Okay. It's good. Thumbs up. Yes. So now we're going to try on some of the things that uh, we found. Yeah. And some of the things that you did see. And some of the things that you haven't seen That's yet. That's exactly right. So let's have fun. Yeah. So um, you've seen the hat before. Yes. Um, this is the top from um, Talbot. Talbot's. These are the Levi's bootcut jeans. Um, as you can see, they are boot cut. You did not see these before. These are um, beautiful, like suede yes. booties. Um, I think they're Franco Sarto. Yeah, Franco Sarto. Wow. And I found these in the hall. These are a little heavy. They are probably about two dollars. Right. But they retail high for about sixty-seven. I, I remember those Stephanie's. Yeah. They're beautiful but, um, on you. Yes. So this whole outfit, I'd say a dollar. Wow. A dollar, two dollars. So that's like what? Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Oh, and the hat. And the hat. So five dollars. Oh my goodness. Entire outfit. So, wow. Amazing. And, you, know, you can go to like. A music festival with this. Yes. Yes. Um, farmers yes. Market. Yes. Farmers market uh, definitely. Just a casual yes. dinner or brunch. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a perfect like spring. Yes. Uh, maybe even In fall. fall. You could put it yeah. with a scarf. Yeah. Um, I love it. I love that too. Yeah. Very nice. Well, here I am. This is my outfit, and um, these were the pants that I um, showed in the hall. The army green Liz Claiborne pants. Um, they're kind of cropped, as you can see. I do have some navy blue um, flats, kind of chunky heel um, that I did thrift also, not on this haul, but on a prior haul. Um, this is the shirt. It is a little big. So Banana Public does run a little bit big as far as the large for me. I'm like about a 12, 14. But um, I like the way it drapes so it doesn't show too much of my mid. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the length is good. You don't have to tuck it in. Exactly. It's perfect. Exactly. So um, here's a little tip, I feel, um, for tops that are kind of too big. Um, what I did is I ended up taking a little pin and I gathered the straps with the pin so the pin kind of holds it down back a little bit. So that's what I did. Um, this is Stephanie. This is your scarf, the Vince Camuto scarf that you found. And I just kind of like tied that and draped that um, just to give it kind of like a more crisp, sophisticated look. Um, of course, you could probably do this shirt with tucked in, um, with a pair of jeans, but this is my look, and I feel good and comfortable. Yeah, ready for a cocktail hour. Yes, cocktail hours it is. Thank you. Okay, um, three, two, one. So here's the second outfit. Uh, this is a Talbot's 100% cashmere top. Um, Cashmere, as you know, is very Yes. How's it feel? Pricey. How's it, it feel? It's very soft. Um, I, I like it. It's kind of like retro. It is. Yeah. Like I was saying, kind of like city vibe, you know? Yeah. It, and it, it's paired with the light wash Levi's. Uh-huh. Um, the purse you saw was the uh, Dunian uh, Burke it uh, looks leather purse. But you haven't seen these shoes yet. Oh. These are all leather. Um, and these are in right now. Yes, they these, are. Uh, these cute little oh, leather yeah. slip-ons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, um, How yeah, they feel? Are they comfortable? They're very comfortable. Very comfortable. They're made in Brazil. Nice. Real leather. Um, so, yeah, that completes... I like the, that uh, stuff. Look. This is casual. You can kind of... Yes. Like, it's like you're fall... Run, yeah, like you're running errands. Yes. You know, yeah. Going to right. the supermarket. Or, but you still look chic. You look like you're in control, and it's well put together. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So... Here's my second look, Stephanie. 
Um, this was the sweater that we talked about. Very lightweight, kind of like that retro 90 vibe. Mm -hmm. with the bolt, the oh, love it, yeah. And um, I like the way it fits in the back. Um, that V-neck, I think it's very appealing, kind of attractive. A um, couple things that's going on here. I have this, um, even though we did not see this in the haul, I didn't show it, but this is one of the um, thrifted skirts that I got. Um, it's kind of like 100% wool, so it is for a winter day, definitely. Yeah. I am already warm already. Um, Franco Sarto shoes. I think earlier you had a pair of boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boots. very good uh, quality. Very nice quality. Um, again, all completely thrifted. Ready for the office. Ready for the office. I enjoyed putting this outfit together and I um, hope this was a thumbs up. Yep, definitely. So I hope you like what you saw. Yes, we had a good time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We, did, yeah. we hope we inspired, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we hope you encouraged you. Um, we enjoy going to the men's zone. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really nice to see what we can find, what gems we find. That's we right. really like it. And we know that Going to the bins is not for everyone. It's a lot of work and it takes that special thing, that special person. The eye. The eye, yeah. right? The eye to do it. But you're in the right place at the right time, you get the gym. So we enjoy doing it and um, we just want to sh continually show our experience or share, not show, share our experience with you. Right? Yeah. And just comment below on what you liked about the episode, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see. Um, just because it is our first episode, we right. want to give you guys the content that you want to watch. Exactly. Um, so I hope you join us next time on Thrift, Sip, and, and Repeat. repeat. <laughs> and subscribe below. Yes, please. That's important. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>